So today I've been asked to talk a little bit about something that fascinates me in science. And uh, for me, that's ecology, specifically marine ecology or ocean ecology. And if I were to give you a simple definition of what ecology means, I think it would be um, interactions between organisms and their environment. My experience working in biology is that it has strengthened my belief that there is a God and that as I study these systems, I feel more sure and clear understanding that these are divine systems, that these are God systems that I'm studying, and it gives a whole lot more meaning to what I am working on. Now, I specifically study coral reef ecosystems. So let me give you just an example of kind of some of the interactions that I, I look at in coral reefs. There's a very curious little critter called the feather duster, and it lives on coral reefs in Hawaii and in other parts of the world. And um, now they look kind of like a flower, although they are actually an animal. And um, they've become very, very popular in what's called the marine aquarium trade. So people like them, they buy them for their saltwater aquaria, and the demand is very high. However, these feather dusters live specifically on the corals and down in the corals. So if you're a collector and you need to collect these things, you're gonna to have to break apart the corals to actually get the entire organism to sell it. So a lot of the collectors will go out with a hammer and a chisel and they'll just chop as they go. Coral may seem like a rock and it may feel like a rock, but it's actually a living organism. My project or some of my research over the past eight years has been to look at those feather dusters and to figure out a way to reproduce them, say in a lab or in an aquarium somewhere, and then teach the collectors how to do that so that they can still make some sort of living and we could conserve the coral reef ecosystem in the process, or at least decrease the damage done by that destructive collecting. But it took effort over years and years to actually answer those questions. And now we know a lot about the life history of these organisms so that now we can reproduce them in a lab and we're in the process now of trying to develop um, kind of a commercial scale production system for them. It's been fun, but there's also been a lot of work and a lot of difficulty to get to this point. I just kept working and working, and in addition to that work, what I did was, was pray for help. My trust and my faith is that as I go throughout my life and my career, that that help is available to me if I am living worthy of it and if I ask for it. So whether that's in my profession, in my family, or in the church, I know that that help's available for me.